during the years 1993 through 2000, there were, these are during the President Clinton years, no actively engaged war at the time. Deaths, 14,107. That is shocking. That is absolutely shocking. During the eight years of the magnificent President George W. Bush's presidency of 2001 through 2007, two active wars and an attack on our soil, the total death count of active duty military, 7,932. That is absolutely scathing. Absolutely. But wait, y'all. There's more. <laughs> now, <laughs> the numbers that I was given for the military deaths and those men and women that have given their life for the, for the, for the price of freedom, I don't need both presidents. Mm -hmm. I, I was fed some, some bad numbers, and, and, and I want to thank the 10,000 people who pointed out to me that the numbers don't add up. Um, I just took them. At, I just took them at face value when no. I got them and, and looked at that report, added them up, uh, and and so I came to the same conclusion. But the, the numbers were wrong, and they don't match the table. And I'm going to answer, you know, and respond to this in a way that that God teaches Christians to do that. I am shocked, Jacob. Who would have thunk a guy like you, a guy of such obvious intelligence as you, and, and a guy that you can tell just by looking at you that you really sit down and think hard about your positions before you make a YouTube video. I am shocked that a guy like you could make a video that was just so patently false and, and blatantly ignorant. I, am, I, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm shocked. Oh, in case you guys aren't up to date on what's going on, let me fill you in real quick before I move on. Yoke Up, our good buddy Yoke Up here, made a video saying that 14,000 some odd active duty military personnel died in the line of duty under President Clinton, and only 7,000 some odd have died under Bush. Now, I got a question for you right off the bat, Yoke Up. Were you fucking alive during the 90s? I'm looking at you, you're older than fuck, so I know you were alive during the 90s. Were you here in America? Did you, did you have access to a newspaper or the television or the interwebs? I mean, how, how do you live through that decade and look at those numbers and, and think that there's any possibility that they're correct? I mean, were you living in a cave? Were you, were you, were you living in some church bell tower like Quasimodo where you didn't have access to the outside world? How the fuck do you read that and go, Yeah, yepper, I'm going to make a video now. Look at this. I got me some information. This is really good. I got them by the balls. Now, how does that even fucking happen? I could pull the stupidest person off the street, and nine times out of ten, they're going to look at those numbers and go, Duh, I don't think so. But not you, Yoke Up. For some reason, you, woo you're, you're absolutely right, though. At least you got to the problem here. You, you just admitted that you just took things at face value. And I'm thinking that maybe this issue, maybe there's more of a deep, maybe there's a deeper lesson for you to learn is what I'm trying to say here, Yoke Up. And we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a second. First, I've got to let you in on a hard truth, though, okay? Here in the real world, things don't always work the way that they do with your undead Lord and Savior, okay? You don't get to just fuck up that egregiously, especially in a community like YouTube where you're engaging in debate, you're putting your ideas out there and you're asking people to give you, you know, critical response to them. You can't just fuck up that egregiously and then go, sorry, y'all. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I, it looks like I messed up. Looks like I was wrong. I was fed some bad information. I'm sorry. You can't just offer a sheepish apology and expect people to go, oh, yoke up. Oh, that crazy old yoke up. Who can stay mad at yoke up? Oh, God love him. No. No, shit doesn't work that way, okay? Aside from the fact that this apology is completely insincere. Uh, you're, only, you're only sorry about what happened insofar as you have to be to make sure that the baby Jesus isn't mad at you and he's not going to roast you in hell for the rest of eternity, okay? You give a fuck less uh, that you made a blatantly stupid and false video. <laughs> Offensively stupid. Um, so, so please, save... Save the insincere apology, okay? In lieu of an apology, I think there's something you might be able to do. I think there's a lesson here, okay? Once again, you said it yourself. You just took something at face value, and I'm thinking that maybe that that's indicative of a deeper problem in your life, Yoke Up. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe there are other things 
that you just take at face value without ever critically thinking about them. Like, like you know, for instance, just I'm going to throw something out there. Uh, for instance, when you sit down in front of your cam to make a YouTube video extolling the virtues of a 2,000-year-old book that's filled to the brim with genocide, murder, rape, incest, apart from like just blatant falsehoods and contradictions and scientific impossibility, uh, maybe, maybe, that, maybe that's a point where you just kind of take something at face value. Maybe... Maybe Jesus is speaking through me, Yoka. Maybe he's using me as a vessel to tell you that there's a deeper lesson that needs to be learned here. Maybe your ignorant ass needs to start thinking about things before you make videos. Maybe, maybe you need to start thinking about the positions that you hold and the things that you believe before you just walk out on the fucking, you know, walk out on your front lawn and spread it around to the world like a stupidity virus. Maybe there's something to be learned from this, Yoka. So... In lieu of an apology, because I don't need to forgive you, okay? It is offensive to me how stupid you are, but, but you can't help it. In lieu of an apology, think critically. Think critically about something that you have just taken at face value. Really look at it. Peace, everybody. Peace, yoke up.